Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for May June 2021 Variant 2.1 I am going to do the presentation task which is task 4 Task 3 database task is already done and uploaded you can find the link in the description Create a presentation of 8 slides using playgroup.rtf so first open powerpoint i'm using microsoft powerpoint for this task open a blank presentation now we need to import the file here for that click on new slide you can see slides from outline select your folder and select the file so playgroup insert there will be a blank slide here. Just delete that. Now you can see there are 8 slides. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and bulleted list. Place at the top right of the slide a header with your name, center number and candidate number. Place in the footer automated slide numbers left aligned. So let's create the master slide to include the header and footer go to view slide master go to the topmost slide now let's remove these text boxes whenever we need we can add the required ones now on the top right we have to place the header with your name sender number and candidate number so top right now insert a text box here and draw a text box on the top right give your name center number and candidate number and make sure it is right aligned Place in the footer automated slide numbers left aligned. So insert another text box left aligned. Now keep the cursor inside the text box. Again insert slide number. So this is the slide number. The hash or else you can see slide number. So the slide number is inserted here. Make sure these changes should be done in the topmost slide so that it will be applied to any layout. So that is done. Now you can close the master view so that all the slides have your name on the top right and the slide number on the bottom left. Now locate the slide with the title Our Staff. Select the three bulleted items after the text Sender Manager and format them to look like this. So this is the slide with Our Staff. Now we need to make these three. From second onwards, the bulleted list should be intended or it should come as a sub-level. For that, you can select the these three. And now, click on indentation here. And you need to change the bullet symbol. So, click here. Go to Customize. And select the bullet symbol here. And you can see it is italic. So make sure it is italic. We can move it little more here. So that is done. 
Now delete the slides with the title, Our Guiding Principles and Areas of Learning and Development. So these two slides we have to delete. Use the data in the file testscores.csp to create a vertical bar chart. So this is the required file. Now let's create a vertical bar chart to compare achievement for only the subjects literacy and mathematics. So select the subject literacy and mathematics. Insert vertical bar chart. Display the subjects as the labels on the category axis. It's already shown. Label the chart with the title Impact of Child Care on Test Results. So the title should be Impact of Early Child Care on Test Results. Display the following values only as data labels along the top of each bar. A legend showing preschool and no preschool. So legend is already shown here. To show the data labels, select the bar. Just click here. Select data labels. So it is shown on the top of this one. Now select the bars for the pre no preschool and again select data labels. So the data labels are shown here. Format the value axis scale to display a minimum value of 0, maximum 56 and increments of 8. So this is the value axis. Select the value axis, right click, format axis. So minimum should be 0, maximum should be 56 and the increments should be 8. So here in major you have to give 8, this is the increment. So now you can see each scale is with 8, in, uh, the unit is 8 and it, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 56. Place the chart to the left of the bullets on the slide with the title Academic Performance. So you can copy this chart. In Academic Performance, it should be placed to the left. So move this to the right and paste the chart here. Make sure no words are split. All data and labels are fully visible. The chart and its contents do not overlap. So here no words are split and everything is shown clearly. Next on the slide with the title long term benefits create an arrow shape action button that looks like this. Position this in the bottom right corner. So we have long term benefits here. The last slide. Now insert, go to shapes, we need an action button in this form, in the form of an arrow. So Bottom right corner. Format the action button so that when clicked it opens the document with the file name lifelong.csp. So right click. 
you need to click on the link it should open the file lifelong.csv give ok now we have to add the text lifelong games in a black font on the action button make sure the text displays on one line the text fits within the shape and does not overlap the border. Take a screenshot evidence showing the action button links to the correct file. Place this in your evidence document. So go to edit link. We need to take the screenshot of this one. Place this in your evidence document as step 28 evidence. Give OK. So that's done. Now save the presentation. Print the full presentation as handouts in portrait orientation with two slides to the page. So after saving, you can print it. Go to file print option now when you are printing it should be two slides on the page so select two slides per page here from here two slides per page make sure your name sender number candidate number is given in the footer or header it's already there on the slide but it might be too small to read so it's better to give in the header once more so name sender number and candidate number so this is the required printout then you need to print the evidence document so this is the end of the presentation task the database task is already uploaded. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.